My name's David Bittner. We're right now in Appleton, New York, right along Lake Ontario. My mom always tells people the story of when my aunt and uncle one time visited and they asked me what my favorite toy was and I told them dirt. And I loved being outside. I hate being in the house. No matter what the weather was, it could be snowstorm, I'll still go outside because I just never was an indoor person. And so the farm really lets me do what I want to do and have my fun even though I have to be in the office somewhat now with food safety and all the paperwork along with that. My background is I graduated Purdue University with Agricultural System Management as my major. With higher education, I think the most important part with that is critical thinking. Taking a look at what you're doing, why you're doing it, how you might be able to do it better. Um, part of my education was actually I did two different courses of study abroad. I did a whole semester in New Zealand at Lincoln University and seeing their way of living with the same type of crops, different politics, different work environment, was quite an eye-opener. It made me think of what can I bring back home, even from different crops. Like, we were one of the first farms in the region using GPS for planting, even though the field crops around here have been using it for years. Same with flow meters on our sprayers. We were spraying a lot more expensive chemicals than a field crop guy, so why aren't we using technology that could save us chemicals or prove we're doing the correct amount? I was always was a curious person. You know, when the family would go out somewhere, my mom would have to keep check where I was and my siblings would be around the family somewhere. But where, to, where did I sneak off to? So my whole family's Cornell grads. I'm Purdue grad, I wanted to go somewhere else. I wanted to find the program I wanted, not because my family went to Cornell, go to Cornell. So I never did any internships outside of Purdue University. I did a couple teaching assistant jobs. One was precision agriculture. And that was an eye opener because I never was exposed to that around here. So right now we're in the uh, Pizzazz Club, Ruby Frost and Snapdragon Club. So we have three club varieties we're planting that hopefully one or more of them will be a home run or at least do really well compared to a gala or you know, even compete against Honeycrisp in pricing. At least that's our hope. But alongside with that, we have a lot of varieties that are falling out of favor, such as Empire, Cortland's, Max, Red Delicious, that as fast as we cut them down, we feel better. It's just the price has been pretty sad, so it's been quite a roller coaster of what varieties we should choose to plant. Because five years ago, half the varieties were cutting down, we probably would have been like, yeah, we should plant that. So it's really interesting trying to see what the, uh, Magic 8-Ball tells you to plant and what you can plant because of patents and club availability and acreage spacing and all that. A lot of people don't realize how much science is involved with agriculture. Now we have plant pathologists, disease, research, extension, all trying to figure out what scientifically is the best way to grow our crops. As an industry, that's sometimes our biggest holdup is extension or research has vacancies that might be able to be filled that could help us in the future. Technology also is a huge part of agriculture now, whether it's keeping track of data, planting GPS, these sprayer control systems that are coming up, CA control, it, you, know, you can keep adding on all different things that you can do with technology in agriculture and how much you want to spend. The other thing is a lot of people outside of agriculture forget that we're a business. You need to understand business, accounting, people management, HR, legal, and you can list on and on all the different things you need to learn for agriculture. And so having a good general base of understanding just business in general, it would be a good start for someone. 